What's up, guys? It's Enrique PRG Real Estate, and I'm coming at you with another episode of Commission Only. I'm here in the home office. We set up the back room. Uh, we're in the shelter in place right now, and we're just doing what we can right now with this time. Uh, you know, everyone's kind of on lockdown. Uh, our whole industry is kind of restricted on what we can or can't do. So um, I've really been taking this opportunity just to work on systems and stuff like that and, and really uh, try to keep the momentum going. Um, I posted something on Instagram and Facebook uh, the other day, just kind of talking about, uh, you know, how we were able to survive the, the 07, 08 market crash. And, and this kind of what we're going through right now, this whole shift kind of reminds me of that time. We may not be in a complete crash, but it definitely reminds me of a challenging time in our career. So uh, I thought I would elaborate a little bit more on what I posted and just kind of some of the tips um, that and some of the things that we did during that time, my partner and I, to help us survive and help us prosper during, you know, some uncertain times. So, um, you know, with everything that's going on right now with the coronavirus and the shelter in place, um, you know, some people are, you know, are still making stuff happen. Some people are not. I know there's a lot of people that maybe are, are lost or not sure what to do. So the three things, guys, that really during that time helped us get ahead. Um, I've looked back and I've kind of narrowed it down to three things. And um, number one, it was our ability to adapt and pivot during that time. And uh, what I mean by that is when the market had crashed before in 07, 08, um, and all these foreclosures and stuff were happening and all these things were happening, a lot of uh, the realtors who had been, you know, traditional real estate agents and been in the game for a while, I witnessed a lot of people kind of getting stuck. You know, they didn't want to shift to working with foreclosures or working with short sales and stuff like that. And that's where the market was headed. And I quickly saw that uh, during that time. I quickly saw that a lot of my clients were losing their homes. And I, I saw that, hey, if we're going to stay in this business, we got to make some moves and we got to make them quick if we want to survive. A lot of people are getting out of the business and, and not willing to, to pivot. So I really attribute our success to being able to quickly recognize what was going on and to quickly shift our focus, um, you know, to, to what we had to do next to, to still keep business coming in and all of that stuff. And as that applies today, um, right now we're, we're shifting to shelter in place. Uh, you know, we're not supposed to be, you know, showing homes if, if possible. Uh, there's no open houses. So what I see right now is we have to shift to doing a lot of things virtually. We have to be able to maybe cut back on expenses and start recognizing those things right now before you start bleeding out. Um, because with offices closing and things of that sort, you don't want to keep these expenses going and then, you know, you're getting hit every single month. So it's important that people that are in the industry right now, they need to figure out what's their next move. How are they going to shift and adapt to the current climate of the market? Um, because we don't know how long this is going to go for. Hopefully it's a short time, but if it does go for a long term, you want to still be able to continue to operate and continue to provide service to your clients. So number one, that was extremely important was being able to adapt and pivot, right? Now, the second thing, uh, looking back that I noticed that really helped us was just being able to stay disciplined, uh, with our marketing efforts, with our daily hustle that really helped us out during that time in 07, 08. Uh, once we realized what we had to do, it's like we were back on track to marketing. We were marketing to, to people who were um, having trouble making their home payments. We were doing loan modifications. We were helping people with short sales. And we were just back on the daily grind, the daily hustle, making our calls, putting out our marketing stuff, and just starting to attract business. I remember we put ads in local magazines, local newspapers about services that we were offering. And we were able to quickly get the phone to start ringing and inquiries to come in and basically business to come to us. So as that applies today, it's whatever it is that you do with your marketing efforts. You know, if, if you were a door knocker, well, you can't knock doors anymore, but you could still pick up the phone and call people, right? If you did online marketing, well, maybe you need to double down on your online marketing. If you're doing, you know, paid, paid leads or things of that sort, you need to really dig in deep to those and see if those are number one working for you and giving you a rate of return. And if they are, then continue to do those, right? So it's important that you're disciplined right now 
with all these distractions and working from home, but still doing things every single day that's going to bring business in, that's going to keep the momentum going, that's going to let your, your friends, family, your clients, your leads that you have, let them know you're still here to help. But you need to make sure you're on a daily schedule. This is not a vacation right now. And unfortunately, some people will treat it like it's a vacation. And there are others who will say, hey, I'm going to be doing business as usual. I'm just going to have to change the way I do business because of what our restrictions are. Right. So that number two was staying disciplined with your marketing efforts and your daily hustle. Now, the last thing, looking back at the 0708 crash and how we were able to, to come out on top, the last thing that I think is extremely important and uh, what you know helped us out during that time is our mindset, right? It's keeping positive and being optimistic, right? There's a lot of negative energy going on right now. There's a lot of stuff on social media and you're hearing it from your friends, your family and all the stuff that's going on and you know, people getting sick or businesses closing or businesses being affected. And that really can start to affect your mindset and, and your outlook on uh, going forward, right? So during that time with all these things happening it's we had a choice we can say hey let's let's cry over this let's you know let's let's you know become negative or we can we had a choice to keep that positive mindset and say hey you know things are going to get better we're going to have to adapt we're going to have to shift we we're in this for the long haul uh we know that if we just keep you know making moves and keep moving forward and keep putting our foot on the gas we're going to come out on top in the end and it's having that mindset and that that resilience that was able that was uh, allowed us to push through, you know, an uncertain time. And today, guys, it's extremely important to have that mindset, to have that optimistic mindset that, you know, this thing won't last forever. It won't. It's just, you know, it, it's not going to last forever. Who knows how long it will last for? Who knows how the market will change after this? Who knows how business practices will change? But you got to know that in your mind and believe this wholeheartedly that you will come out on top and that you're going to do whatever it takes and that you're in this for the long run, guys. And if you keep that positive mindset, then you're going to take the necessary actions every single day to make stuff happen. Right. So looking back, guys, those were the three things that helped us get through that 07, 08 market crash. And those are the same three things that we're doing today with with our team. Uh, and that's the same message that I'm putting out there is we're holding each other accountable. We're meeting every single day on Zoom. We're making our calls. We're doing what we can with what we got right now. And I encourage all of you to do the same thing. Uh, I hope you guys are safe. I hope you guys are healthy. I hope this message finds you well. If you need any help, if, if you're not sure what to do, reach out to me, guys. Let's come together during this time, uplift each other and help each other move forward. Our team is meeting pretty much four to five days a week on Zoom, and that's open to all agents out there. I'll put the link below in the description. You can hop on uh, from 9 to about 11. Sometimes we go to 12, and we're just holding each other accountable. We're, we're having a quick huddle. We're going over some inspirational stuff, and then we're jumping on the phones. We're hitting mute, and we're just in front of the computer so we can see each other making those calls. We're giving each other thumbs up. We're really just helping uh, each other keep that momentum and know that we're all in this together. It's just open to any other agents, any other brokerages, doesn't matter. We're just using this time to come together and help push each other forward. So till next time, guys, commission only from the office through Zoom. I'm recording this. Peace out. Let's make it a good one.